Hello everybody, I'm Arlo White and this is your scouting report on SoundersFC.com. Now a valuable point earned by the Sounders in Philadelphia last week. It doesn't get any easier. The Sounders stay on the road and they travel to Colorado to face the MLS Cup champion Rapids Friday night at Dick's Sporting Goods Park. The Rapids started the defence of their title in fine fashion. Three consecutive wins, eight goals scored, only two against. But since injuries to two key players... Connor Casey and Pablo Mastroeni, no wins in two, no goals scored and four against. They'll want to put that right when they return home on Friday night. So they do have injury problems up front, but they still have a talented group of hitmen. Seattle are very familiar with the work of Connor Casey. He scored the only goal of this fixture last year at Dick's Sporting Goods Park. But a huge blow for the Rapids as they look to defend their title. And it came against DC United a couple of weeks ago. Look at Casey on a cold night in Colorado. And he pulls up with a hamstring injury here at the start of the second half. 43 goals in four years for Connor Casey. MLS Cup MVP. The original prognosis out for two to four weeks. Now he's missed two games. Maybe he's fit enough to take a seat on the bench for the 18. We will wait and see. Quincy Ameriqua, who scored a winning goal already this season for the Rapids, he's out with a high ankle sprain. Matt Kanji remains sidelined with an ACL tear. So they do have injury problems in attack, but two quality strikers remain. Omar Cummings is one of them. He scored a great goal at Questfield last season and a 2-1 defeat. Opened his account in the opening game of the season. A double attempt here after the original save. Very direct Omar Cummings. Very athletic and very quick. Just latches onto that pass. Realises the first shot has been saved. Very alert to gather his thoughts and to swing a ball into the net from a difficult-ish angle. Very strong player as well. Look at this from the corner flag. Holding off Rodney Wallace for pace and for strength. Crosses the ball. He ends up at the feet of Jeff Lorenowitz, and that was the first goal of the season for the Colorado Rapids by the ginger ninja Lorenowitz. He's a very good midfielder. Look at the strength shown, though, by Omar Cummings, a good setup guy as well. So, Omar Cummings, a very, very good player who almost joined Aston Villa in the EPL on loan during the off-season. That move fell through for work permit issues, not because they didn't fancy him as a striker. Alongside Cummings, another man with recent EPL experience. His name is Caleb Folan, English-born, an Irish international, and this is what he can do against DC United. Lorenowitz again, a very important player for Colorado. Lots of work here for Folan to do. He used to play for Hull City, for Leeds United, for Wigan Athletic. Left foot drive, some good footwork from him, and that opened his account in Major League Soccer. So two very good strikers for the Colorado Rapids, and we'll wait and see about Connor Casey. But what about Pablo Mastroeni? Will he return in the Rapids midfield? Over 60 caps for the United States national team and two World Cup finals. Pablo Mastroeni has been the captain of the Colorado Rapids since 2004 and even at the age of 34, predominantly a defensive midfielder with good technical passing ability, he can still get forward. Once again against DC United last minute, they already lead 3-1. Look at this lung-busting effort from Mastroeni. It's a little bit fortunate to get that deflection up into the air for Omar Cummings to round off the scoring. Now, he has been injured for the past two games with a calf problem, Mastroeni. He did return to training earlier this week, and I'm sure Gary Smith and the Rapids coaching staff very keen to get him back into the team. And this is why I think they miss him. Let's go back to the FC Dallas match. Now, this was a chastening experience for the Colorado Rapids, a 3-0 defeat. This is the first minute of the second half. Anthony Wallace, the left-back, who was dropped after this game for Drew Moore to slide over to left-back against RSL last week. He's tied to the touchline with this FC Dallas attacker. Avia is causing havoc here. Jamie Smith is on him. This is Nani, who is the midfielder, the young midfielder that replaced Mastroeni for this game. We'll just play it on for a few moments. Avia cuts inside. We'll just pause it there. Look at Drew Moore at centre-back being chased out here. He's having to follow Rodriguez when really he could just pass Rodriguez on to Marvel Wynn. What it does with Nani sort of ball watching here and Avia making this run into the danger zone is creates this huge lane here for Daniel Hernandez to pass the ball into. Let's play it on again for a few seconds as he does and we'll pause it just there. So Avia is in. He's behind the defence 
Anthony Wallace is out of the play, Nani is out of the play, Drew Moore is out of the play, and it needs a good cross to the far post. We'll just play it on. David Ferreira, the league MVP, is there, and he slots it in for a magnificent goal, really, but I just don't feel that happens to Colorado when Mastro any plays. Let's have a look at this. We'll just pause it there for a second. Look at this line. They know they're in trouble. Avia has peeled away here from Smith. He's making the run down here. Just on his heels here, Drew Moore realises he's out of position. He hasn't slotted down here. He hasn't passed Rodriguez on to a cluster of Rapids defenders here. And this lane is open. Let's play it on. The ball goes through. Beautifully played by Hernandez. Avia, far post. David Ferreira, a fabulous goal. So we will wait and see if Pablo Mastroeni is fit from that calf problem to play against the Sounders on Friday night to take up that position in central midfield with Jeff Lorenowitz, surely two of the best midfielders in Major League Soccer. So, Friday night, Dick's Sporting Goods Park should be a good one. Remember, Sounders fans, Sana Nayasi and Tyro Marshall both play for the Colorado Rapids these days, so it'll be good to see our old friends again. Fox Soccer Channel has the live television coverage. I'll have the call on 97.3 Cairo FM. It's on MyNorthwest.com and on the new Sounders iPhone app as well. This has been your scouting report for SoundersFC.com. I'm Arlo White, and I'll talk to you again soon.